Hello? Yeah. So everybody can hear me fine in the back? OK, cool. So today, it's going to be serious. So I've been going through some serious stuff nowadays, and I thought most of the time my stories were more humorous and things along those lines. So I thought I'd try to do something different this time. So this journey is about a uh, journey of enlightenment. And I grew up in India, and I used to be a very shy kid. Uh, growing up, I had a lot of pressure from my parents. I was from a working family. And as for any working family, no matter which country you belong to, there are a lot of expectations from the kids that you've got to study hard, you have to really work for yourself, you've got to be successful, and you have to make the name for yourself. So those were some of the pressures that uh, I was growing up with. <coughs> One thing I noticed was that my parents were very, very driven. They were very well educated. My mom was a master's in science and botany. My father was a bachelor's in science, and he did an MBA. They were pretty driven, and they wanted to see the same thing in me because I was running their genes, scientific genes. So, well, luck didn't turn out to be that way. I used to be a very average kid in the school. I couldn't understand any math. I couldn't understand science. I didn't even know what the hell people were talking about. <laughs> and, and, and somehow I had this kind of, you know, well, uh, am I sure I'm the kid of my parents? Or did they adopt me? Or, or that's just I don't know because Nothing genetic seemed to be right. I mean, I was dull. I used to sit at the last bench, not interact with people, and things along those lines. If I look back, there was one constant message that my mother would keep telling me. And that message was this way. Well, if you don't study, if you don't really work hard, if you don't focus, you will be just doing some, uh, you would be just like a sweeper or something like there somewhere, and just getting by. You'll not get all the food and all see. We are supporting you right now because you are a kid, but as you grow older, you have to support yourself, and maybe even support us. Looks like you'll not turn out to be that way. So you have to do something about it. I said, well, I'll figure it out when I grow older. Right now, at least I'm a kid. Let me follow whatever I'm doing. I I'll think about it later on. Then this was one of the things that my mother used to tell. And then there was another thing she used to always tell. See that guy, see that girl, see they are studying so hard, see they are getting top first rank in the school. Why can't you get it? I said, you have to ask them, why are they getting it? Why are they? I'm not getting it? If I would know the answer, probably I'll get it too. So uh, my mother wouldn't understand what the hell the problem is. Like She used to be a teacher as well, and of course she was very controlling and demanding and whatnot. She used to be very strict. Like We had a name for her, Hitler, in, in our home. That, oh, Hitler has come, be, be prepared. So. Well, uh, my father was pretty lenient at that time. He thought, yeah, kids have had enough. And he used to control my father as well, for that matter. Well, I mean, uh, we wouldn't have turned out to be this way. I really appreciate what she did that time now, though I did not appreciate at that time so much, because I think I was not good enough at that time. So that was the part of my childhood. Something happened strange, things changed. I got into hormonal anxiety in my teenage and whatnot. I think it had an influence on my mind, and soon I figured out that I started understanding the world. I got interested in world economics, politics, poverty, elevation, and things along those lines. And slowly, slowly, things started making sense. And I don't know how. I, I don't know. I just got motivated, or I saw certain people. Or I don't know what really happened, but I started getting motivated out of different things. And I started seeing a lot of things, like in between the lines. and. All the words which I would read in the school, etc., started making sense, which was very strange. Like, why was it not working earlier? How can it start making sense now? So I did not know. So that dots I'm still trying to connect. Don't know how it happened, but it, maybe it was genetics. It was already built in to me, and at the right point, at the right time, it just came out. So maybe that's what it is. Still trying to figure it out. Then I started pursuing my conquest on science and mathematics, which I didn't like at all. And somehow I started becoming very good in that. Again, I don't know how, how come. So there were certain kids in my school who used to be very good in studies, always get 90% marks, 85% marks. And I would be hanging in there by 50%, 60% of average, below average. And soon in middle school, I was the one in the top three. And the people who used to be 80 and 90 were kind of 
going down because they had distraction. Oh, I like that girl. Oh, I like this. I like that. Somehow I didn't have those distractions. So I don't know. Maybe it worked out very well for me. So I was focused on my education. I would talk about spirituality and talk about how to spread happiness and things along those lines. You know, this guy is really nuts, actually. What the hell is talking about? You are talking like like 40 year old person. You are not a teenager. I said, I don't know. Maybe it is. So it, it worked out very well. I was very driven in my engineering when I went to an engineering school, graduated top of the class. Luckily, I also got a job, which was fairly very good. And then I started my journey of exploring. So I grew up in New Delhi, India, and I always wanted to be in Delhi, capital of India, and just stick around there. I was very close to my family. And then I started traveling. So I traveled within India to multiple places. Of course, I never paid for my travel because it was always through work, which was exciting. Uh, and then I started traveling to different countries. I went, spent some time in Japan, UK, Malaysia, Singapore, China, US, and whatever. And again, the best part was I never paid for any of my trip. And they made me stay in good five-star hotels, which was incredible. So I think it, overall, and up, up and down, it really worked out very well. <laughs> so now, now, now I, I see back. Uh, so recently, my parents were here, and they were very upset that I'm not married, I'm getting older, and whatnot. I mean, I'm not that old, but like in back there in my home, I should be already married with a couple of children and whatnot. By now, it's, I'm like older. See, I don't even have a gray hair, but they think I'm very old. Uh, in my country, that's the way it is. And they started putting a lot of pressure. Well, everything is settled. You are there, here. Why don't you get married? We are already here. Why don't you find somebody and just, just get married? Well, I said, I, if I find somebody, I'll definitely get married, but then I have not able to find somebody yet, and I'm trying to find the right one. They said, you are too picky, maybe you, we should find somebody for you. They tried their luck, they've been trying to do it for five years, it didn't, didn't work out very well. Whom I like, they reject me, the one this and I reject them, so it's kind of never worked out. So, basically what I thought was that, what's, what is the meaning of life? And this allowed me to start my conquest in science and mathematics and physics. And I tried to find the equations, like try to find what it really means, what are the logical meanings of these kind of things. And what I you know, discovered was that you don't find meaning and logic in the equations of science and math. The logic and meaning is found in the equations of love, love and compassion and relationships. And that can only be found in family. I have always pursued mathematics, science, and you know, trying to be successful, really going for the best jobs, etc., being very, very smart and intelligent and witty. Those things don't matter. What matters is how you touch people, how you how, how you rub them on the right places, how do, what impact you make on the people. Those are the things that actually matter, and I learned them over a period of time. What I also learned was that people are different, and same same kind of approach doesn't work for all different kind of people. Maybe if my parents were more aware of what kind of a personality I was, maybe they would have mentored me differently. So one thing I came, came across was that there is a personality wherein people are either moving towards or moving away. Moving towards people are one, they always get excited with new things, innovative things, etc. So if you come out to them and give an example that if you were to study, probably you will be able to choose your college, you'll focus on your dream, and you'll make yourself as a better person. If you are moving away person, you have to tell them, well, if you don't do it, you will probably not be able to reach and achieve your dreams and things along those lines. Maybe my mother was not able to you know, differentiate between what kind of person I was. If she would have chosen another approach, maybe I would have been much more motivated. On the other hand, there are certain people who kind of get motivated based upon influence of other people. And then there are other people who have internal frame of reference. They'll only get satisfied when they think that they'll be able to achieve something and this is good enough. So at the end of it, the learning that I got after all the experiences that I had in my life was that no matter whatever conquest that you do in life, at the end of it, all that matters is how do you, it's, it's so much harder to be kind than clever. That's the profound, profound message that I want to leave today with. That's the biggest discovery of my life. Always I have excelled in my studies and focused on jobs and all, but at the end of it, it's a lot more harder to be kind than clever. Thanks.